Welcome back, all you rag, frag, and bastards. Toy Shiz here, and today we're going to be checking out a figure and his space hog that I've been greatly looking forward to, right? Like a Ghost Rider these days. You can't just make Ghost Rider. You gotta have his motorcycle. Unless, of course, it's Robbie Reyes, and then you need the Hell Charger. But as we all found out, we definitely all didn't need that one at the price, we'll just say. But this is Lobo and his space hog. Check that out. It's very cool. I've been looking forward to this. Now, it does say Justice League of America on the back side, bottom, wherever, however this box works. It's maddening. They have really nice photos of said figure and said space hog. So you get to see the two head portraits. Those are nice. You get to see dog and and how everything works right that's pretty cool on the bottom side of the box not only do you get the barcode but you're not going to need that because this is an amazon gold label exclusive but they tell you how everything works everything fits all of different accessories and whatnot it's pretty straightforward so not to worry but in the meantime this is going to be an absolute blast so sit back relax Grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Amazon Gold Label exclusive straight from the DC Multiverse line, Lobo, Dog, and his Space Hog from McFarland Toys. And while I got you guys here, if you haven't already fragged your entire planet, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my DC Multiverse vids. And if you haven't already please do consider subscribing. Why? We got old toys, we got new toys, we got daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So here is Lobo, his motorcycle, let's just call it that, Space Hog, and you get all the different Lobo-inspired accessories, like this alien, wild, steampunk, Mad Max guitar. It's pretty well done. That's a nice little accessory. It says the main man scribbled right there in the corner. It has three dabs of red paint for the skulls, which is okay. It does have a nice wash. Let's, let's give him that at least. You get to see everything. It's nicely done. But when you flip it around, that's when it looks incredibly hollow. It does say Lobo. You got these two little notches right there. It'll connect to the base, which you get the Lobo base. You got the two little notches lined up. And at least it's technically, it was a quote unquote, like a weapon storage, right? So that's not a bad thing. I like that they did that. It stays in there nicely. Could have used a little bit more paint on it. Wish it wasn't so hollow. Let's be honest. However, he does hold it nicely. It looks good. He displays well with it. You're only going to see it from one side anyways. Don't cut so many corners. We'll just say put a full guitar next time, right? Now, you do get an extra head portrait. The hair's down on this one. He's got more of a gritted teeth sinister look i do wish that they included some of that blue paint from the last lobo release like in his hair that would have been kind of nice but overall it's a nice head portrait but it's not my favorite out of the box now you have this again where it's his giant hook on a chain the chain is not a real metal chain it's a gummy plasticky kind of chain it does do the trick don't get me wrong would i prefer a regular real chain most definitely. And for an Amazon exclusive box set, I would have loved to have seen that as opposed to this once again, right? A little bit more oomph in the box. Now, you do get Dog, D-A-W-G. This is Lobo's alien space dog. It likes to smoke with him. <laughs> Why couldn't you give it us a cigar, McFarlane Toys? Come on. No, you can't rag on about that. But I like the way it is. It's a slug of a figure. Not going to get any movement out of this character, unfortunately. But he does have a peg hole on the bottom underneath his leg. And you take the bike and you can sit him on that spike on either side. And, and yes, he goes on there nicely. So it's a nice little detail to add to the bike. It's a nice looking figure. I like the way that this looks. They're really nailing the dogs lately, right? We got Crypto, and now we got Dog. So, nice little touch there. Lobo himself. This is wild. I love the head portraits on this guy. The spiked look, or you could say the, the motorcycle windswept look. Very 90s. Very Lobo. You can see the differences between the two. I don't mind either one of them, but the more spiky hair looks great. It's also very Superman the Animated Series. Brad Garrett, you get the idea. On the back side, again, it says Bite Me, Fanboy. Nicely detailed, nicely painted, comes straight from the comic book cover, right? Bite Me, Fanboy. Very nice. 
I totally dig it. So this is through and through. It's a very 90s Lobo, although they're kind of billing it as a more modern-ish Lobo. And yes, it kind of has elements of both, but through and through, this is 90s. And to be honest, in talking about the paint again, this would have been the perfect opportunity to paint through his shirt so you see his skin through the holes in his clothes, right? These are elements we like to see, McFarlane Toys. Please do this more. Put a little more oomph in this set. The motorcycle, the space hog is rad. Love the front of it right there. Kind of reminds me of the Boba Fett Mythosaur kind of thing, right? In so many ways. Now, you have a lot of gray gunmetal plasticky parts. You have this blue part, so you got a hole right there at the bottom. That's where we're going to peg into the stand right there and keep it very sturdy, very solid. Elements of red. You got a nice wash throughout. The handlebars are a separate piece. When you first pull it out, it clips in. If you hit any snags in assembling this, just look on the underside of the box. It's got all the directions for you once again. The blue is nice. It goes all the way through. You get to see all the engine parts. You got these big old turbine thrusters. Those are nicely done. They're huge. They lead into the exhaust ports in the back. It's pretty darn cool, right? It's nicely done. Nicely weathered. But yes, through and through, as we always say with these types of things, more paints especially. Yeah, I know. People always say, oh, I can paint it myself. I don't want to. I don't paint these things. Also, it's very light. And you'll notice that right out the box. It's, it's very hollow. It's kind of like one of those vinyl kind of things, which may cut down the cost, which by all means, because it does look and display well, but then the price could have reflected that a little bit more. The base says Lobo. Like I said, it's got the little peg stand right there. The stand is nicely done. It has little messages from Lobo every which way. You can see the main man. You could kind of pull out and read it kind of, sort of. A lot of it's kind of like gibberishy looking kind of stuff. But I like when they do that. Little inscriptions and whatnot. It really brings to life the character. It's a very hollow stand but it does the trick in holding up the bike. And like I said, you simply just slip that right into the hole inside the bike, push down, and it's solid. And you can still swivel the bike, which is nice to see. So if you got it going one way, going the other, you don't have to pull the stand out every two seconds. If you got enough room, just keep in mind this thing is very large, right? Now, you put dog on the back, you got Lobo, everything looks cool. This is a solid McFarlane Toys release. Through and through, it's a very complete package overall. So in that sense, I love it, and I recommend it. I don't like the price point for it. I would have thought maybe around the 50, 60 mark. That probably would have fit this a whole heck of a lot better, let's be honest. If it had certain elements, changed up some things, sure. Swap the head portraits, that's cool. Some extra hands would have been lovely for this box set. Maybe some extra weapons. I know that they can't do guns and such, but maybe a, a big old space weapon, space gun, something that's a little less of a, a gun gun and more of a, a vacuum cleaner kind of thing, right? But I absolutely love how this looks with your DC Multiverse collection, especially a character like Superman, right? That's very cool. Or if you wanted to go the Lobo paramilitary Christmas special, and you've ever headed over to Fresh Monkey Fiction, well, you could get yourself a Santa Claus figure or, or Crusher Nick, right? <laughs> Have Lobo take his head off if you wanted to go that route. Wasn't joking about the size, though. Remember the 89 Batmobile that came out last year? This is just as long as the Batmobile. It's not necessarily as wide, at least in the front, but you get the idea. It's a lot less heavy, too, we'll say that. But... I do love how this displays. I love how this looks with all the other characters that we've been putting together for our DC Multiverse collection recently. They've really been nailing that. Lobo, I would say, is an appropriate height for this type of character. When we get the new Superman that's coming soon, hopefully he's a little bit taller, fingers crossed. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new Amazon Gold Label exclusive Lobo and his Space Hog. It's a pretty solid vehicle. Couple changes, couple things I would have liked to have seen done to really bring out the price tag, if I'm being honest. But I love having this on my shelf. I think that this looks fantastic. And I can't believe I got him to stand 
as long as I did to do this last little bit. But you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Lobo. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, what would be the next character and a vehicle you would like to see done? Don't say Batman in a Batmobile. Think outside the box, right? That would be kind of cool. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. He's fallen.